Jason, would you would you care to respond to, to the question? Um, I, I thank you for inviting me to this debate uh, with Mayor Agnos today. I have a pleasure to be here. Um, thank the moderator of the debate. Uh, no, I, look, I, uh, first of all, I appreciate being home. My, my heart is in San Francisco. We live in Sacramento now, uh, but every time I get that feeling coming across the Bay Bridge, I love being home and I love seeing all of you. So thank you for uh, inviting me back today. Um, the answer to Mayor Agnos's question is, uh, we accept the challenge and we've started, uh, is the short answer to the question. You're absolutely right that we need more capacity in this state, physical capacity, beds, clinics, with mental health services right in them. The answer is, you're absolutely right about that. The way that we're proposing manifesting that vision, slight, perhaps slightly differently, but as a man who's been in politics and government a long time, uh, maybe you'll be open-minded to a slightly different uh, response. And it, instead of opening what in California our mental hospitals are called the state hospitals, uh, instead of reopening state hospitals, which in a number of cases either no longer exist or in serious disuse, it's not so much that the state hospitals are in disrepair, it's that as Mayor Agnos sort of intimated, the way that we respond to homelessness is always evolving and changing as we learn more about what works and doesn't work. Mm -hmm. It is not static. And one of the things we've learned is that 100 or 200 or 300 people in one place is not necessarily conducive to healing and recuperating and getting back on one's feet. What we have found, and the research is found nationwide, and in fact Project Room Key, which we can talk about later, works much better are smaller settings and non-congregate settings where people can have a little bit of privacy and a little space to work on themselves and being community-based as opposed to Napa State Hospital, which is one of the big ones, uh, which is not near necessarily the communities that people are trying to re-enter as they heal. So the very, that's a very long way of saying we are spending in this budget that the governor just signed a couple months ago uh, three billion dollars, three B billion dollars to create 22,000 22,000 of those beds, exactly of those beds. And they will come in the form of what some people know as board and care homes, which are smaller, maybe four, five, six, ten, maybe 20 people, uh, all the way up to um, clinics and more sort of hospital feeling settings that are going to approximate those state hospitals. Um, so the answer is that we agree that it is the only way out if I'm allowed to say that, do I have to pay royalties to somebody? It's the only way, it's the only way out of this challenge that we face, uh, is, is opening up. We cannot do enough with our existing built capacity. We must add built capacity if we are serious about solving this challenge. The strategy that Governor Newsom has chosen to pursue is one of adaptive reuse. That's a wonky term we use for taking something that exists and turning it into something else. Adaptive reuse is uh, really what we're thinking about doing, but in this case, deep clinical enhancement. We are not talking about apartment buildings where we shove people. We are talking about 24-7 care. We are talking about nurses and doctors. We are talking about medication-assisted treatment if that's necessary. We are talking about serious clinical support for people coming off the streets. So if we are successful, and God hopes we are, um, in a few years' time, we will have opened up 22,000 additional beds in California across the That's state great. for this precise purpose. That's just one part of a much larger homelessness agenda that I won't filibuster about. But I wanted to respond to Mayor Agnos because the answer is you're right. And uh, we're, we're, we're deeply on our way. Now, final point, and I'll hand it back to you. We can't do any of this unless we have community leaders who are willing to say yes. That's right. It is far too easy in this state. And you know, I'm, I'm, I was San Francisco oriented for 10 or 15 years, but now we travel around the state and we engage with communities around the state. It is so easy to find a reason to say no to a new one of these new community clinics that I've just described. It's so easy to say, well, I support doing something about homelessness, but I just think this particular corner isn't the right place to do that. There is always a reason. There is always a reason to say no. And unless we work together and push through that and find a reason to say yes, we're never going to get on top of this. So we can put as much money as we want into this. I can send the governor around the state to demagogue this issue at community forums up and down, and it's not going to make a lick of difference unless we have folks like Mayor Agnos and like the people in this room getting into those community meetings, getting into those city council meetings. I won't even start on the Board of Supervisors here. That's a different situation. But getting into those community meetings around the state and saying, we must say yes. Otherwise, our money is not going to be well spent. Yeah, this manifests right. at the local level, and so we're going to need those partnerships locally if we want to get on top of this challenge. Thank you so much. That, well done. Well said.